and welcome to another episode of Solar Tech. If like me, you are on a budget and in search of a microphone to improve your audio quality, then I may have an option today for you to consider. I will be conducting a comprehensive test drive on this condenser microphone which is a tongue twister to pronounce by the brand name. I'll be going over the product details, pros and cons, conducting an audio test indoors as well as outdoors, and then summing up to see whether it has enhanced my audio quality. Do note, I will not be using the microphone before the audio test, but thereafter, I will be using it until the end of the video. Also, it may be a good idea not to adjust the volume level of your device so you will hopefully notice the difference in the sound quality from the audio test onwards. With that said, let's go. This is how the microphone arrived in terms of packaging. As you can see, it's very simple, no frills. On the top right here, we have the model number, which is the SF dash treble six and below it it says sf dash treble six b for bertie i'm not sure what the difference is as we can see the microphone is attached to a 3.5 millimeter jack to the right here we have the mini tripod stand and at the top of the tripod we have the slot that houses the microphone itself if we move down to the bottom it says you can use the microphone for chatting over QQ and for those of you who are not aware QQ is an international chat room which was originally for the Chinese market you can also use this for MSN Skype gaming and singing and just to put your mind at ease when I conduct the audio test I will not be doing any singing whatsoever for fear of embarrassing myself but guess what? Once the cameras are not rolling, I'll be belting out my vocal cords. Right, let's have a look at the back. And yes, as you can see, so you've got a, a variety of options that you can use the microphone for and some other general information here see that and for those of you who are technically savvy when it comes to details here's some specifications regarding the microphone while you're chewing over that I'll just quickly go over the pricing I bought this from Amazon originally it cost 19 pounds which is about $25 but in true Amazon fashion, they had a flash sale. So this cost 13 pounds, which is about $17. And of course, it would be silly of me not to have bought it. I will leave a link in the description below. Okay, with that said, let's go ahead and unpack this thing. Included in the packaging is this splitter and just to show you what they are for, they are clearly labelled, so just get those into focus. So the one on the right is for headphones and the one on the left is for a microphone. See that there? Going back to the tripod stand, from the bottom to this optimum height is seven inches. If you find that is going to be too small, you can prop it up on books or boxes, which is what I will be doing. It is made of plastic and the head can be tilted back and forth 180 degrees. So you have good scope there. It can also be rotated 
360 degrees. So I shall demonstrate. And I can do that a few times. It's not a problem. And it looks like it has to be anti-clockwise. So again, bear that in mind. Thing to also note is after a few turns, in fact, quite a few, it does separate. And the only reason I can think of this is that it allows one to insert an extension pole so you can increase the height. That's the only reason why I think it separates. Okay, so let's pop that back into place. Ugh, God. That's, ugh, okay. You got that idea? Okay. Okay, we're finally there. Okay, so as we can see, it is attached to a two meter red cable with the 3.5 millimeter jack at the end. What I love about this red cable is that it can be easily identified if you misplace it or if you leave it around. Do note with some of these microphones, which is made by different brands, instead of the 3.5 millimeter jack at the end, they have a USB connector. So be alert when purchasing, because you want to make sure you order the right one. In terms of cons, if you have a smooth surface like my table here, the tripod will slide around very easily as the feet are made of plastic. You know, you don't have any rubber at the bottom to reduce the friction. So that's something to bear in mind. A plus with this microphone is that it can be used freely. So I can take it off like this. And if I want to sing, which I should do off camera, then I can belt my vocal cords out. So this is, again, this is also great for conducting interviews or if you're just filming a subject or something remote. I also love the fact that you just plug this into the device. So you just plug this end into your device and you're ready to go. Also, you don't require battery. In terms of the tripod stand and microphone, they are both very light and portable. So I'll just try and demonstrate that there. Look, so light and portable. You, you, you could even fit that into a small small bag very nimble i do like that again this is really great if you're conducting filming on remote locations and again look, very easy to assemble even a child will be able to assemble this the microphone is omnidirectional so it is great for conducting interviews and also, do bear in mind, because it is omnidirectional, it will pick up background noises. But hopefully, if you are using it remotely, you will find a quiet spot to conduct your filming or interviews. Okay, with all of that said, it's now time to put the microphone to the test. Just before the sound test, I want to correct something I said earlier. When I mentioned to plug this end of the 3.5 millimeter jack straight into your smartphone. However, that would not yield any results. It is better to insert this end into the microphone part of the splitter. Thereafter, you will plug this end straight into your smartphone and you will get the desired result. Also, as shown on the screen, to be able to use this condenser microphone, you would need the following adapters if you are using a newer iPhone or Android phone. I will leave a link for both items in the description below. I suspect if you are using anything 
other than a smartphone, you will need a TRS connector cable. Now I will conduct four audio tests. Two will be indoors and two will be outdoors. For all tests, I will count to five and the volume levels will be at the highest for consistency. Again, whilst indoors, the camera will be about three feet away from me. When outdoors, the camera will be the length of the cable. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So, what are your thoughts on the microphone in general? I noticed there was a marked improvement in the audio quality when using this condenser microphone. And proof, you do not need to go and buy an expensive microphone to improve your audio quality, especially when you are on a budget. I love the outdoor test as it picked up noise around me. I like the simplicity and portability of the microphone, its features and the cost too. So just to sign off, if you have enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button below, which is free. A like would break the sound barrier. If you have any questions, again, please raise them below and I will be more than happy to respond. Anyway, my name is Shola. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next episode. And remember to please stay safe. I guess it's now time for me to shut down the camera and get on with my singing. What are you waiting for? Go, 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 go.